Have you heard about the fashion brand We Wore What launching its own rewards card and are wondering what it has to offer and what it even really means? Well, in this video, we're not only going to be taking a look at that particular card, but also the potential implications of this concept. Hey everyone, this is Kyle from Money at 30, and on this channel we look at personal finance from a millennial perspective, including new card overview videos like this one. Recently, I came across an Instagram story from one of my favorite YouTube creators, Swell Entertainment, mentioning a credit card from the brand We Wore What. Intrigued, I ended up looking into it to better understand the situation, and to know exactly what We Wore What is. To my surprise, what I found was far more interesting than I anticipated, and also not nearly as egregious. So what is the We Wore What rewards card and is it as terrible an idea as it seems? Let's take a closer look at the offering and the precedent it sets. Before we get to the We Wore What card itself, let me first explain this rewards card concept and how it differs from a credit card or even a debit card. First things first, the We Wore What card is released in conjunction with a fintech called Imprint, which recently raised a $38 million Series A. Furthermore, the card is issued by First Electronic Bank and operates on the Visa network. You may notice that Imprint uses the term rewards card, which separates it from a credit card. Since credit doesn't come into play, either in applying or reporting, this isn't a credit card. Yet, without funds being stored on the card, it isn't exactly a debit card either. Thus, I'd consider this a new category of card to what I'm familiar with, although there are some comparisons that could be drawn, such as the Pay With Gas Buddy card. Of course, while that offering applies discounts and pulls directly from linked bank accounts, it's only accepted at gas stations, while imprints cards are visas. In any case, while I understand the assumption that this card would be a credit card, that's not really the case. With that out of the way, let's talk about the We Wore What Visa and how the sign-up process works. To get started with the We Wore What card, prospective customers are advised to scan a QR code that can be found on the site. Doing this will first send users to the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. After users install the app, they can begin applying for the card. In a press release, Imprint compares this process to signing up for Venmo or something similar. Sure enough, the application does require you to provide some personal information, such as your name, address, birth date, social security number, and more. Finally, when your application is complete, you can link a bank account using Plaid, with this account being where your funds will pull from when you make purchases. Incidentally, before discovering the We Wore What card, I was already trying out a different imprint offering, so my We Wore What card appeared as a tab in the app. Heading to the main menu, you'll notice that there's a spending limit associated with your card. According to Imprint's FAQ, this spending power is based on a percentage of your linked bank account's balance and represents how much you can spend instantly using your card. When you do make purchases, they'll display as pending in your account and your spending power will adjust accordingly until the money is transferred to cover charges a few days later. As for benefits, the We Wore What Visa has enhanced rewards for specific brands while also having a catch-all for everyday spend. When it comes to the rewards of the We Wore What Rewards card, customers can earn 10% back on purchases they make from We Wore What. Additionally, cardholders earn 5% at a variety of partner brands, including these ones listed here, while all other purchases earn 1%. The downside is that these earned rewards can only be redeemed for purchases at We Wore What or the aforementioned partner brands. However, there is no minimum redemption amount. Users can also toggle on the Auto Redeem option to ensure their earned rewards apply to applicable purchases. When you do use your rewards, you'll likely see the full total of the purchase display, but this will later be updated to adjust for your redemption, with the net amount ultimately coming out of your linked bank account. Something important to note is that, at this time, the We Wore What card and other cards from Imprint can only be used digitally. Despite the promo image that looks like a physical card, Imprint is not issuing plastic at this time. Instead, customers can use the card online by turning on the Show Virtual Card Number option in the app, with them also having the ability to generate a new virtual card number if needed. Additionally, the card can be added to mobile wallets such as Apple Pay in order to make in-store payments. So while you may not be able to use Imprint cards quite everywhere, you'll be able to use it anywhere that accepts Visa and mobile payments. Overall, while I might have issues if creators were indeed launching their own credit cards, I actually think that this rewards card concept is pretty interesting, even if the We Wore What card itself doesn't exactly strike my fancy. Considering that I'm not familiar with any of the brands featured, I don't really have a use for the rewards the We Wore What card offers. That said, I do find myself fascinated by this seemingly new category of rewards cards and what it could mean for the future of creator-backed offerings. Personally, I see this prospect as being far less problematic than if they were to launch a traditional credit card. That said, for certain creator offerings, it might make sense if there were an option to have rewards card payments reported to bureaus in order to build credit, although I certainly wouldn't want this to be the default. All in all, I'll definitely be keeping an eye on Imprint, as I could see some big ideas coming from the fintech firm in the future. 
Hopefully this gives you a better idea about what the We Wore What card and imprint are all about, but for more on the topic, I'll have a link to my article in the description box down below. Also, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, and be sure to subscribe because we have new videos every week. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time here on Money at 30.